E equals MC squared. Distance equals rate times time. Amperage equals watts over volts. 2 pi r. Pi r squared. The plastic thing at the end of shoelaces are called aglets. The sum of the squares of the two sides of a right triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Han shot first. E equals MC squared. Distance equals rate times time. Amperage equals watts over volts. Two. I know your memory of the OM1 blueprint is in there somewhere, and my nanite sensitive electrode shall find it. All in due time. Rex, I know you hate to see anyone suffer, especially your loved ones. So I graciously offer you an exchange. Bring me your piece of the OM1 blueprint, and in return, you have my word that your brother will be released unharmed. Mostly.
out of my way, Cersei. I can't let you stop me. I'm not going to try to stop you. Then help me! What are you doing working for Van Kleitz again? You're not like him! I wish I could, Rex. I really do. But this is the only way. I don't want it to have to be like this. But it's too late. Van Kleist has all the pieces of the blueprint to make his own Omega-1 Nanite. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have the one from Aquania. Cersei? Cersei! Why are you doing this? The whole world is in danger now! Firewolf!
Cesar! I have no more use for him. Unlike Circe, she's been a loyal subject, so I allow her to live. Unfortunately, I cannot allow you the same luxury. Rex? But I told you not to come. I have you to thank, Rex. If not for you, I never would have learned of the Omega Nanite Blueprint. The moment you touched that first shard in Mexico, I was instantly aware of the Blueprint's existence in this world. Get back to Providence. I've got to stay here and take care of Van Kleiss. <laughs> Heroic and self-sacrificing. Quite the combination. It almost pains me to have to destroy you. Almost. A valiant attempt, Rex, but a futile effort nonetheless. But I have already finished constructing my very own Omega-1 Nanite. Behold, the full extent of my new power! <laughs> Something's not right. Nanites! Out of control!
Betrayal over a teenage crush? Cersei, finish him! You gonna steal my wallet too? I was so sure helping Van Clace was the only way to get turned back into a normal girl. But like you said, there just has to be another way. What went wrong? I had it! I had my very own Omega-1 Nanite. Not exactly. I corrupted Aquanius' piece of the blueprint, just in case. That's why you lost control. And now, you're coming back with me to Providence. Not one step closer, or the traitor loses her lovely head. Let her go. It's over, Van Kleis. Over? <laughs> It'll never be over, my boy. You and I are forever linked, Rex. You may have won the day, but this is far from over between us. You okay? Yeah, I feel so stupid, though. I should have known Van Kleist's duplicate Omega-1 Nanite wouldn't be able to cure me. Even my real one can't cure you. Van Kleist said he could make me normal again. I want to be a regular girl so badly, Rex. I just couldn't pass that up. But you did. You could have stayed with Van Kleist before you knew his OM-1 didn't work. But instead, you helped me. I... I guess I did. I know you really want to do the right thing, Cersei. Come back with me to Providence. 
You'd be welcome there. I like that, Rex. But I'm just not ready for that kind of life yet. Not even to be with you. Maybe someday. Nice job, Rex. Sloppy and unconventional, but considering the circumstances, acceptable. Thanks again for the saving, Manu. I'm definitely not cut out for the field. I'm happy to be based here inside a nice, safe lab. Don't worry. I've got your back. What are brothers for? Something on your mind? How do you do that? All right, fine. If you have to know, I'm thinking about Cersei. I'm worried she's going to fall in with the wrong crowd again. <laughs> 